All right, we've talked a lot about uh, pressure and volume and temperature and the, throughout the various different ideal and combined gas laws. In this video, I want to talk about uh, partial pressures and total pressure. Uh, and this is kind of introducing uh, something that's called uh, Dalton's Law. Let me write this up here. Dalton's Law. And it seems like everybody's got a law um, whenever it comes to pressure and, and a lot of chemistry, and this is no exception. So uh, this is an introduction into Dalton's Law. And basically what Dalton's Law is saying is that the total pressure of a gas, the total pressure, pressure total here, is equal to uh, the partial pressures, <clears throat> you know, pressure one, partial pressure one, plus uh, partial pressure two, or three, or four, or five, or six, just it, basically it's equal to all of the partial pressures. So that's kind of, you know, may seem like a no-brainer, but we're going to get in a little bit deeper here in, in just a second. So basically what this is saying is that partial pressure 2 here plus partial pressure 1 over here are equal to the total pressure. And in this illustration here, you can kind of see it. It's, it's taking these red molecules here uh, with these silver molecules, adding them together and saying that the pressure of this plus the pressure of that is equal to the total pressure of adding them both together over here. And we can even add, uh, you know, maybe um, uh, units and names to this. Like this could maybe be O2 and the blue over here, or the red, I'm sorry, over here could maybe be uh, N2. <clears throat> These red molecules could be N2. And we can even add units of measurement to them. So like we could say maybe O2 here is uh, 5 PSI, um, PSI or ATMs, or TOR, or, uh, or millimeters of mercury, doesn't matter. And we could say the N2 here is maybe uh, 10 PSI, right? Uh, 10 PSI. And then we can solve for what the total pressure is. Uh, so at that point, it would be pressure 2, which is 10, or let's go in order. It'd be pressure 1, which is 5 PSI, of O2 plus pressure 2 which is 10 psi of N2 mm. and that's going to be equal to the total pressure which would be 15 psi. Right? Seems simple enough and this may be you know just kind of a no-brainer to a, a lot of you but what we're going to eventually get into with this is integrating this into the ideal gas law, which is uh, pressure and volume are equal to moles times a constant times temperature. Uh, so we're going to be integrating this into that. But um, what I want to kind of go over first is how, how this is interchangeable, how you know pressure 1 and 2 equal the total. But let's say we didn't know, uh, you know, for some reason we don't know what pressure, uh, maybe pressure 2 here is. We don't know what this is. You know, we're, we're not sure. But we do know that the total pressure is equal to 15 PSI. And we know that pressure 1 is equal to 5 PSI. And pressure 2 is equal to, or and we don't know what pressure 2 is. So... We just know that pressure 1 plus pressure 2, let me write that plus sign a little bit better. We just know that this plus this is going to equal our total. So how do we figure that out, right? Well, it's just a simple algebraic expression at this point. You subtract 5 psi by both sides of the equation, as you could probably imagine. And that's going to be equal to 15, let me change color here, 15 PSI minus 5 PSI, I guess I didn't write 5 in there, did I? 5 PSI equals 
P2. And 5 minus 15 is 10, which is makes sense because that's what we had up here. So P2 is going to be equal to 10 PSI. And that's kind of interchangeably on how we can have all these, uh, you know, go work coincide with each other. So if we're, we have the ideal gas law uh, and we're trying to find out the number of moles, the number of moles maybe for, um, for this pressure, if we know the partial pressure and the total pressure, we can use the ideal gas law to find that out. And that's kind of what we're going to be tackling uh, in the next video is how to use the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT, um, to integrate all of this here together. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. I hope this wasn't too confusing. Thanks for watching.